In this Mortal Shell Guide, we're going to be taking a look at Teal the Acolyte Shell, which is likely the third shell players will acquire within the game. I'll be providing tips on which skills to take, which weapons work best with this shell, and who should be using the shell in their first playthrough based on its playstyle. If you've been wondering if this is the shell for you or how to best utilize it, watch on to find out. Teal the Acolyte is likely the third shell you'll find in Mortal Shell, and if you've played the bait already, then you'll be somewhat familiar with the area he is located. However, he is not in the exact same place he was, and Teal is now located in the cave where you fight Ven Noctivagu, which is in Falgrim outskirts. Teal has the lowest durability of any shell, meaning he can take the least amount of hits before he is knocked out of a shell or killed. For this reason, players using him may be killed more often until they become more familiar with the mechanics of the game, so I wouldn't recommend him to new players who are just playing for the first time. Teal has very poor resolve, only two bars, which is another reason he isn't very new player friendly, as you won't be able to do many empowered reposts or weapon abilities with him. These things can drastically help a new player, especially since you can heal with an empowered repost, and healing is desperately needed until you've figured out the rhythm of combat. Teal has the highest stamina in the game by a long ways, allowing him to get off many more attacks than other shells before he must let his stamina replenish, though Harris's accretion of endurance skill puts him much closer to Teal than it might seem. This is Teal's biggest strength and is why he is so good in properly trained hands. Additionally, it allows him to use any weapon in Mortal Shell without having to worry at all about stamina management. Once the skill tree is unlocked, you'll get to see just which skills Teal possesses, and looking over them you'll notice immediately that Teal's specialty is Poison. A good number of his skills deal with this mechanic, and though Poison isn't super helpful in Mortal Shell, it can allow him to one or two shot enemies that other shells cannot. Accretion of Yearning is not the best skill Teal possesses, but it is the one that you should aim to get first. This is because it has a lower tar and glimpse cost, and also because you'll need it more often earlier in the game when you're still getting the hang of things than later on. This skill will make you practically invulnerable to poison, and there are some really annoying poison effects in the game. Accretion of Dominance is arguably the best skill that Teal possesses because it nearly guarantees that you'll poison an enemy when you strike them if you haven't been hit since you last killed an enemy. The better you get at the game, the more you will use this ability, and it will allow you to one or two shot enemies that other shells cannot. Get this second if you didn't already take it before Accretion of Yearning. Accretion of Inheritance is one of the best skills Teal can take, but it's not one that you'll take early on. This is because it improves the odds you will trigger Teal's other skills, and until you have those, this skill just isn't very useful. Take this one after you've taken all the other accretion skills, but make sure that you do take it. Recollection of Death Recollection of Death is a great skill to take on any shell because it allows you to regain last chance if you've lost it, which means you can be knocked out of your shell once more before actually dying. By the time you grab this skill, you likely won't need it as much as you once did, but it still comes in handy because mistakes do get made. Take this one after you've taken all accretion skills. You should take any other accretions after accretion of dominance in any order you wish, but most are not overly useful. Accretion of resolve seems great on paper, but you'll find that you rarely sprint so much it causes stamina issues on teal. Accretion of ascent triggers only when you get hit, which is something you're trying to avoid, and you are rarely low on stamina with teal, so accretion of endurance is not as good as it could be. However, make sure you gain all skills and then speak to Sester Ganessa afterwards, as she becomes a merchant and sells some items that you will 100% want. Because Teal has a ton of stamina, you can use any of the game's four weapons with him effectively. However, I recommend using either the Martyr's Blade or the Hammer and Chisel with him for a couple of reasons. The Martyr's Blade requires a good chunk of stamina to wield, and since Teal has the most of any shell, this makes him the best candidate to use this weapon. Not only will you avoid stamina issues that other shells will likely have, but you can also one-shot a good number of enemies once you've gained accretion of dominance, drastically speeding up combat. There's nothing more frustrating than hitting an enemy and he has 5% HP left, so you have to strike him again to get rid of it using up valuable stamina. Poison solves this problem for Teal when using this weapon, so they make a great combo. The Hammer and Chisel is also a great choice because you can often stagger enemies with repeated strikes, never giving them a chance to attack. Having more stamina means you can continuously swing away without the need to fall back as often to regain stamina. Additionally, Teal has very low resolve, which can make you feel like you're missing out on weapon attacks when using this shell. However, you will find you don't use them as often with this weapon since they aren't overly good, which helps to negate some of that feeling. You can, of course, use either the Hallowed Sword or the Smoldering Mace with the shell and to good effect, but these are the two weapons I recommend the most since I don't think other shells can use them quite as effectively. Final Thoughts Teal is an excellent shell for confident players that have a strong sense of the game's mechanics and feel like combat is too slow for them. By having such a large stamina pool, these players will be able to pull off more attacks and dodges, speeding up combat and allowing the play to their aggressive nature. However, I don't recommend this shell to new players because the small health pool doesn't afford many mistakes before death, and you are sure to make plenty when first learning the game. 
The biggest problem you'll find with Teal is that his resolve is extremely low and that he can only hold a maximum of two bars at once. Since many weapon abilities cost two bars of resolve, you'll either waste a lot of resolve by staying full until the right moment to use a weapon ability, or you'll never be able to use weapon abilities because you'd rather parry at every convenience preventing this waste. This also makes things challenging for new players who are less likely to parry and are in more need of weapon abilities that are excellent to have against bosses and mini bosses. If you like this video, be sure to check out our other guides on the other three shells, as well as our getting started guide and boss guides. And if you need help figuring something out, like the location of certain items, be sure to stop by the official wiki and get the help you need.